नमस्कार एवरी वन हैप्पी गणेश चतुर्थी सो टॉपिक टुडे टॉपिक इज टाइट्रेशन ऑफ एमाइनो एसिड्स दिस टाइट्रेशन ऑफ एमाइनो एसिड यू नो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर के वी पी वाई एग्जाम सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी कंबाइंड एंट्रेंस टेस्ट फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन कोर्सेज सी एस आई आर जी आर एफ नीट यू जी ऑल्सो अप टू एक्सटेंट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर बायोलॉजी ओलम्पियाड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्टिव प्लेसमेंट बायोलॉजी ऑफ यू एस फॉर दैट ऑल्सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फाइन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी टाइट्रेशन ऑफ एमाइनो एसिड इन डिटेल राइट सो एमाइनो एसिड्स यू नो इफ विल सी द एमाइनो एसिड एमाइनो एसिड हैव आयोनाइजेबल ग्रुप लाइक यू सी द एमाइनो एसिड हैव कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ग्रुप विच इज आयोनाइजेबल और एमाइनो ग्रुप विच इज आयोनाइजेबल एंड इवन साइड चेंज आर ऑल्सो प्रजेंट राइट सो वेन वी विल चेंज द पी एच ऑफ द एमाइनो एसिड दिस ऑल फंक्शनल ग्रुप हैव टेंडेंसी टू एक्सेप्ट प्रोटोन और लूज प्रोटोन एक्सेप्ट हाइड्रोजन एन और लूज हाइड्रोजन एन दैट टेंडेंसी ओनली वी विल स्टडी हियर राइट सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द वन एमाइनो एसिड दैट इज एलिनिन एमाइनो एसिड यू सी दिस एलिनिन एमाइनो एसिड दिस एलिनिन एमाइनो एसिड एट लो पी एच एट वेरी लो पी एच दिस एलिनिन एमाइनो एसिड इज कंप्लीटली प्रोटोनेटेड कंप्लीटली प्रोटोनेटेड मीन्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ फंक्शनल ग्रुप have accepted hydrogen ion fine they have accepted hydrogen ion like you see carboxylic acid group have a hydrogen ion nh this if you'll see the nh2 group uh, valency of nitrogen is what three only no so by one valency have accepted linked with the carbon and by two hydrogen but still they have lone pair that lone pair have also accepted one hydrogen ion and it became ammonium plus ion okay and then this is this is our ch3 group so this particularly this amino acid is alanine amino acid right at very low ph they are completely protonated right they are completely protonated and what is charge here net charge what is net charge here student so alanine have net charge 0. Point, uh, sorry 0.17 is net charge is plus 1 isn't it students now what i am doing i am changing situation i am adding nh2 group in it okay i am adding here sorry nh2 group i am saying naoh in it means i am increasing the ph now when scientists increase the ph they observe that this all functional group have tendency to lose hydrogen ion they have tendency to lose proton from it right we observe that at pk uh, at the ph 2.3 we observe at the ph 2.3 they will start to get tendency to lose proton okay and a time will come this carboxylic acid group will lose its proton yeah this carboxylic acid hydrogen ion is most acidic in nature so this this all functional this two functional group this it is the first one who will lose the hydrogen ion and you see the, here they lost hydrogen ion after the losing hydrogen ion what is net charge on this amino acid yeah net charge is zero isn't it not student net charge is equal to zero now ph at which net charge is zero on um, on amino acid is called isoelectric ph isoelectric ph isoelectric ph is the ph at which net charge on the amino acid is zero so you see here one positive charge and one negative charge here so if it is one positive charge if one positive charge and one negative charge net charge on the amino acid is zero or not yeah net charge on the amino acid zero further we keep adding oh minus ion means nh we added further 
so ph of the solution change further and when ph of the solution change for, further a ph came on which amino acid amino group lost its hydrogen and right and that ph was 9.7 right so one thing so now net charge on the amino acid net charge on amino acid is minus 1 so if you again see from the starting we are clearly clearly observe, observing one thing at highly acidic ph because of ample of hydrogen ion the functional group will accept hydrogen ion okay and they will be completely protonated but when we will add a wedge group when we increase the ph so the tendency of this all functional group to lose hydrogen ion is seen actually and co out of this nh3 group and carboxylic acid group this is carboxylic acid group is the first functional group who will lose hydrogen ion right and after that our amino group will lose hydrogen ion right now we discuss that something that is called isoelectric ph isoelectric ph is the ph at which net charge on amino acid is zero yeah net charge on the amino acid zero and if you have to calculate isoelectric ph you know students if you have to calculate isoelectric ph it's very simple yeah one more important point there is one term that is called jutter ion form jutter ion form jutter ion form is the form of amino acid at which net charge on the amino acid zero this is the this is the state of amino acid see this is jutter ion form of the amino acid see net charge is zero or not one negative charge one positive charge net charge zero jutter ion form is that form of amino acid actually on which amino acid is least soluble in water okay we, we if you will keep this amino acid in the electric field it will neither move to the positive pole nor it will move to negative pole yes why because net charge on the amino acid is zero actually okay when we increase further further i mean when we increase the further ph we observe that even amino group have also lost hydrogen ion and finally we got negative charge so if amino acid at when we will decrease the ph then isoelectric ph it will become positively charged and when we will increase the ph then isoelectric ph it will become negatively charged clear right now if we have to calculate the isoelectric ph here so for isoelectric ph if i am considering pi is isoelectric ph so isoelectric ph is actually pk1 plus pk2 by pk1 plus pk2 by 2 what was pk1 here on which tendency of losing hydrogen ion was seen what was the ph 2.34 okay and what was pk2 9.7 by 2 6.0 okay see actually from from the pk1 only the tendency of losing hydrogen ion will increase now suppose i have one amino acid alanine amino acid it is plus one charge right at isoelectric ph half so so here the charge is plus one now when they will start to lose ox lose hydrogen ion it will become alanine zero net charge is zero right so slowly 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 a uh, time will come that zero charge alanine percentage will increase okay at the very starting all amino acid are alanine plus one charge right but now when they will get deprotonated they will start deprotonating from the 2.3 they will start to change into the alanine zero actually 
ओके सो आइसो इलेक्ट्रिक पी एच ऑफ दिस पार्टिकुलर एमाइनो एसिड इज सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो ओके नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल आई एम टेकिंग ब्यूटिफुल एग्जाम्पल ग्लाइसिन एग्जाम्पल सी दिस इज आवर ग्लाइसिन विच इज सिंपलेस्ट एमाइनो एसिड राइट एट वेरी लो पी एच स्टूडेंट्स एट द एट वेरी लो पी एच इवन दिस अमाइनो एसिड इज ऑल्सो प्लस वन चार्ज इट हैव चार्ज इज प्लस वन यू सी नेट चार्ज इज प्लस वन आवर ग्लाइसिन हैव नेट चार्ज इज प्लस वन राइट नाउ वेन दे एक्स वेन नाउ वी स्टार्टेड टू इनक्रीज द पी एच वेन वी स्टार्टेड टू इनक्रीज द पी एच वी ऑब्जर्व दैट इट इज द कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ग्रुप विच फर्स्ट लूज इज हाइड्रोजन एंड एंड नाउ यू सी हियर नेट चार्ज हियर इज जीरो नो नेट चार्ज इज जीरो नॉट या नेट चार्ज इज जीरो हियर यस नेट चार्ज इज जीरो नाउ वी इनक्रीज द पी एच फर्दर आफ्टर इनक्रीजिंग द पी एच फर्दर वी ऑब्जर्व स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर इनक्रीजिंग द पी एच फर्दर वी ऑब्जर्व दैट इवन दिस अमाइनो ग्रुप ऑल्सो वॉट डी प्रोटोडक्टेड वेन दे केम टू द पी एच पी के टू पी के टू मीन्स नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स इन एक्सपेरिमेंटली इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व दैट इवन अमाइनो ग्रुप ऑल्सो लूज इट्स हाइड्रोजन एंड राइट now what is net charge here net charge is our glycine have net charge is minus 1 right this is deuteron form here isoelectric ph right now if you have to calculate isoelectric ph means pk1 plus pk2 by 2 2.34 9.60 2 2 2 2 how much it will come Calculate it, please. It will come approximately. How much it will come? It will come up to nine, eleven. It will come near by six point zero. Isn't it or not? Yes. So isoelectric pH of the glycine is six point zero. Important point is what during deprotonation, this carboxylic acid will lose first proton. Isn't it or not? they will lose first proton yes then amino group will lose proton in second right so isoelectric pH so this is about those amino acid whose side chain is non ionizable right but what about those amino acid which side chain have like carboxylic acid group or like they have amino group what about that so let's see titration of ionizable r group containing side chain containing amino acid like i'm taking a beautiful example of aspartic acid you see students aspartic acid aspartic acid if you see in our aspartic acid two carboxylic acid groups are present okay two carboxylic acid groups are present right now at pk1 the tendency of the losing hydrogen ion is started okay right proton started right and in this all functional group this alpha carboxylic acid student this is alpha carboxylic acid this is alpha carbon this is alpha carboxylic acid so alpha carboxylic acid is the first carboxylic acid who lost its hydrogen ion right at a very low ph the all functional group were completely fully protonated when we increase the ph at pk11.88 first carboxylic acid group alpha carboxylic acid group lose its hydrogen ion right then at pkr2 that is practically 3.65 this side chain carboxylic acid group also this gamma carboxylic group also it also lost its hydrogen ion right so further when we increase the ph we observe that at ph 9.6 even in this amino group also lose its hydrogen ion right so what will be sequence here 
first when we will increase the pH first this alpha carboxylic acid group and then this side chain carboxylic acid group then um, this amino group will lose its hydrogen ion but again what is net charge here net charge is plus one what is net charge here net charge is zero here so this is and this is jitter ion form of the amino acid and at isoelectric ph they will come at this at isoelectric ph they will come at this particular shape a particular form in jitter ion form right right students okay now if we have to calculate here their isoelectric ph then we have to calculate isoelectric ph then so for calculating isoelectric ph we have different formula here pk1 plus pkr by 2 so what is pk1 1.88 1.88 plus pkr 3.8 six five by two please calculate it one point eight eight one point eight eight plus three point six five by two what will be value here it will be nearby uh, nearby mm -hmm. It will be nearby 2.77 isn't it yeah 2.77 yes so isoelectric pH of this particle acid is 2.77 we can see from for one basic amino acid also see this is our basic amino acid our lysine right or not so lysine have one carboxylic acid group one amino group two amino group are present one alpha amino group present and right and after that in side chain also another amino group present right it's a eta amino acid right it's alpha beta gamma delta like that it's eta amino acid now at pk1 they have they will get tendency to lose their hydrogen ion okay 2.18 they will lose their first hydrogen ion that is their carboxylic acid group because this is most acidic in nature right what is net charge here students in first condition what is net charge plus 2 right when carboxylic acid lose its then plus 1 isn't it or not then at pk2 it is observed that the amino group will lose its hydrogen ion right and that is 8.95 these all are practical value actually okay but one thing is very clear first carboxylic acid group and then alpha amino group will lose its hydrogen ion right and then at pkr the side chain will also lose its hydrogen ion and it is observed that in this case it is 10.53 right 2.17 this carboxylic acid group will lose its hydrogen ion and then 9.07 uh, 9.07 sorry i am saying 9.07 uh, it will be 8.95 8.95 this car this amino group will lose its hydrogen ion and then the functional group at 10.53 right so if we have to calculate isoelectric ph there then how will calculate isoelectric ph so for a basic amino acid we have a formula pkr by pk2 by 2 you calculate it please pkr plus pk2 by 2 10.53 plus 8.95 by 2 it will come nearby 9.74 yes 9.74 
so our lysine is basic amino acid you see isoelectric ph is basic okay our aspartic acid is acidic amino acid its isoelectric ph is acidic right and this is about glycine and this is about our alanine amino acid so finally we can conclude that when amino acids will titrated first most acidic functional group will get deprotonated that is alpha carboxylic acid group and then if side chain have carboxylic acid group they will get deprotonated and then amino group will get deprotonated right at isoelectric ph net charge on the amino acid is zero the form of amino acid on which net charge on the amino acid is zero that is called jitter ion form and at the jitter ion form at isoelectric ph amino acid is least soluble in water and electrophoretic mobility means movement of the particular amino acid in the electric field is zero remaining we will see next video